Oh man, guys. It's shark week. It's the one week a year where everybody becomes a shark expert pretty much overnight, including myself. So let's do this. Today I'm taking a hike at Adams Point Wildlife Management Area in uh, Durham, New Hampshire. It's a beautiful place. There's a lot of really cool uh, marine research being done here by the University of New Hampshire. Don't know why I said it like that, the University of New Hampshire. What I'm gonna mostly talk about in this episode of taking a hike is uh, what's on my shirt right now. Jaws because it's shark week and also because sharks in the media aren't always represented very well. But who is at fault for that? These are the questions that keep me up at night. So when Jaws came out in the 70s, uh, it was one of the first blockbuster movies to ever come out. It was this cultural phenomenon and Jaws had a really big impact on two things. The inflation of Richard Dreyfuss's ego and the public perception of sharks. We'll ignore that first one. The fear of sharks is not entirely due to this one movie, but uh, it definitely helped push the narrative that sharks are bloodthirsty man-eaters that are out to get you. And it's an unfair narrative to push, as anybody who's well-versed in shark information will know. Although shark attacks exist, um, more people die from dog bites or bee stings or from vending machines falling on them. But you don't see horror movies made about vending machines because that wouldn't be a good horror movie. And while we are generally more exposed on a daily basis to things like dogs, bees, and vending machines, it doesn't change the fact that we are going into a shark's territory. We are entering their domain, their feeding ground. Sorry about reading off my phone, but uh, according to the Florida Museum of Natural History, the chances of being attacked by a shark when going to the beach are one in 11.5 million, and the chances of being killed by a shark is less than one in 264.1 million. That's pretty astounding. There's a lot of things that are gonna kill you before a shark does. That being said, uh, it's it's very easy to vilify a shark because there's a lot of teeth there. There's uh, the, this fear of the unknown that we deal with every time we enter the ocean. And the fact of the matter is that sharks are top predators in the ocean. And while that makes them sound scary, it also makes them one of the most important organisms in the ocean. Sharks attack the weak and the dying. They prevent disease from spreading. They prevent overpopulation of prey species. All in all, we need sharks. And I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to be afraid of sharks. Uh, I, I don't think anyone should ever have to apologize for an emotion. But if that fear turns into action, such as hunting and killing sharks in order to prevent shark attacks, which is proven to not work, um, that's when it becomes a problem. So the question is, do we hold Hollywood responsible for capitalizing off of fear? and then generating more fear based on the cultural phenomenon that was Jaws. And I think the answer to that is no. A horror movie's job is to tell you a scary story, not to present you with facts and statistics. It's our job as the viewers to separate fiction from reality, and that's a lot easier said than done. Although the fear is irrational and based off of a fictional concept, it doesn't make it any less real. When we have a fear, we have to educate ourselves about that fear as much as possible. Learn the facts. Learn why you really shouldn't be afraid of sharks. You have no reason to be afraid of sharks after watching something like Sh Jaws or 48 Meters Below or um, Deep Blue Sea or wherever else. This should be kind of common sense, but take everything you see in a fictional movie with a grain of salt. Even with something like Shark Week on Discovery Channel, which is happening right now, double check their information. Make sure they're actually right. Do your own research. Find credible sources. Don't take anything you see on TV as gospel. And I'm not gonna talk about Shark Week too much because that could be a whole nother video. The point that I'm trying to make is that it's a horror movie's job to scare you and to tell you a story. It's your job to separate that story from reality and do your research and find the facts because awareness, in my experience, is the best way to battle fear. There's a movie called The Meg that's gonna be coming to theaters soon, which I will absolutely be seeing. It's about a Megalodon fighting Jason Statham. And who wouldn't want to watch that? And because it is a sci-fi movie, I'm not going to get too mad at the fact that as soon as they discovered an extinct species, all they wanted to do was kill it. And they, they portray the Megalodon as a man-eating animal. And if a full-grown shark that big existed in our oceans, humans would not be even worth looking at. It would be eating whales and big giant fish. If it saw a person in the water, it'd be like, nah, man, that's a waste of time. That's the mentality I have when going to see this movie. If you're a person who's gonna go in to see a movie like The Meg, 
or uh, if you haven't seen Jaws before, if you want to see Jaws, but you're going into it knowing that you have trouble differentiating between the fiction and the non-fiction, maybe just don't see it. And it's actually a sign of creativity. If the lines between fantasy and reality can be blurred sometimes, that just shows that you have a great imagination and that's nothing to be ashamed of. But be aware of that trait in yourself. Know that if you go into the water after watching The Meg or watching Jaws or watching Sharknado, and you, you feel nervous about getting attacked by a shark, even though it's an irrational fear, um, maybe watch another movie. The last thing the world needs right now is more fear of sharks. We need more education about sharks. We need more appreciation for sharks. We need shark love. And, um, and luckily, I think there's an abundance of that as well. Definitely more than there was 10 or 20 years ago. We have events like SharkCon in Tampa which was one of the coolest experiences I've ever had, was meeting um, people who dedicated their lives to changing the public opinion about sharks and putting them in a more positive light. We have a new generation of wildlife documentarians that are showing you that sharks should be respected instead of feared. And if we fight fear with awareness and ignorance with education, then we'll lower the chances of sharks going extinct in my lifetime, which is a real possibility. And that idea scares me more than any movie ever has. So um, I'm gonna leave a bunch of links in the description of this video. I'm gonna leave some video links in the comments. Uh, stuff about sharks, the realities, the stuff that horror movies don't tell you, uh, and why sharks are so important. And later on this week, at a uh, currently unknown date, I'm gonna be posting some videos from SharkCon, where I interviewed some incredible scientists and researchers and had a real great time. So you'll see that coming very soon, as soon as my hard drive is fixed. But in the meantime, check out the links that I posted down below and um, go take a hike or take a swim.